Hello Liftoff fans, we are back with another video about the great space world. Travelling beyond gravity, working on the International Space Station, going on spacewalks is a dream for many. To become an astronaut for NASA, one has to fulfil certain criteria. Join us today as we discover what it is like to become an astronaut and tell you surprising facts you didn't know about a NASA astronaut. Let's get started. Number 10. Requirements Although it seems easy, it requires astronauts to undergo two years of mandatory basic training after they have completed six years of schooling and two years of working as a professional. Applicants must have a master's degree in a STEM field, which includes engineering, biological science, computer science, physical science, or mathematics from an accredited institution. In place of a master's degree, applicants must have done two years of work for a doctoral program in the science, technology, engineering, or mathematics fields. Two years must include 36 semester hours or 54 quarter hours. Moreover, they must have at least three years of professional experience or 1,000 hours of piloting. NASA maintains a small crew of active astronauts. At present, there are 44 active astronauts at NASA. It accepts applicants for new astronauts every year. The selection rate for NASA is as low as 0.04 to 0.08%. Candidates need to start preparing according to the requirements well in advance. Number 9. NASA Astronaut Class the first US astronaut candidates were selected by NASA in 1959 for its project Mercury with the objective of orbiting astronauts around the Earth in single manned capsules. The military services were asked to provide a list of military test pilots who met specific qualifications. After a stringent screening, NASA announced its selection of the Mercury 7 as its first astronauts. Since then, NASA has selected 20 more groups of astronauts, according to the core of civilians, scientists, doctors and engineers, as well as school teachers. As of the 2009 astronaut class, 61% of the astronauts selected by NASA have come from military service. NASA selects candidates from a diverse pool of applicants with a wide variety of backgrounds. From the thousands of applications received, only a few are chosen for the intensive astronaut candidate training program. Including the original seven, 339 candidates have been selected to date. Number 8. Vehicles Used Soyuz, Russian three-person Earth orbital spacecraft, early versions were operated by the Soviet Union and later versions by Russia after 1991. As of December 2021, Soyuz has made 147 crewed spaceflights, including two emergency suborbital flights, Soyuz 18A and Soyuz MS-10. This spacecraft type has flown into space more times than any other spacecraft. Orion NASA now touts Orion as the spacecraft that will do more than simply go to the moon. The agency talks of taking astronauts to an asteroid or even to Mars. Of course, all these plans require continued funding, something that the Orion program has already learned is far from guaranteed. The spacecraft is a traditional capsule design that has been undergoing testing for several years. With room for four to six astronauts, the Orion crew module is a fair amount larger than the Apollo capsule designed back in the 1960s. With a diameter of 16 feet 6 inches, it's around 4 feet wider than the SpaceX Dragon capsule. Though it has about 10% less internal volume, SpaceX plans up to 7 seats on board a manned version of the Dragon. Number 7. First Destinations in Space Depending on the program, NASA's new astronauts plan, train and fly missions to the International Space Station and to the Moon, as well as perhaps Mars in the future, who knows? In December 2021, NASA announced the selection of its newest class of astronauts. Six men and four women were chosen from more than 12,000 people who applied to the space agency in March of 2020. Once they train and become full astronauts, these selectees have some exciting spaceflight opportunities ahead of them, potentially including flights to the moon someday. 
the astronauts as part of the so-called Artemis generation. The name is a reference to NASA's Artemis program, which aims to send the first woman and the first person of color to the lunar surface as early as 2025 a landing date that is considered incredibly ambitious. The program calls for launching astronauts on a series of flights into deep space on NASA's new massive rocket, the Space Launch System, or SLS, eventually culminating with humans landing on the moon once again. Number 6. Astronauts' Activities In the early days, the job description of an astronaut was basically that of being an observer. Someone who would view and document what was happening. It didn't take long for NASA to understand that human interaction would be required. Basic training is the first phase, lasting two years. The candidates learn about vehicle and space station systems. And most of the training takes place in a classroom. Key disciplines that may prove to be helpful in their work in space are studied, such as meteorology, engineering, space science, and earth sciences. Survival training must also be completed outside of the classroom, military water and land survival, in order to prepare for an unplanned landing back on Earth. The candidates must become scuba certified and must also pass a swimming test. They focus on exercises, activities and experiments directly related to their mission and familiarize themselves with the power tools and other special devices that they will use during their missions. Number 5. Astronauts' Basic Training Candidates must learn the basic of the Space Shuttle and the International Space Station. They must also learn how to be part of a team by flying the NASA T-38 training jets. In order for astronauts to get a feel for what they will be doing in space, they practice on life-sized models. These models are called mock-ups. The Space Vehicle Mock-Up Facility is where they practice. In the SVMF, astronauts practice using the Space Shuttle Orbiter and parts of the ISS. In these mock-ups, astronauts will learn how they will move about. The KC-135 this plane is also known as the Weightless Wonder or Vomit Comet. It provides about 20 to 25 seconds of zero G. For this brief amount of time, astronauts feel weightlessness. Sometimes even experienced astronauts get sick in the KC-135. That is where it gets one of its names. Now that we have come to the end of the video, are you interested to become an astronaut one day? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Also, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and hit the notification feature so that you will never miss any of our Space World updates. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.